Okay, let's fill out a data sheet. First off, make Kawhi. And model and serial number. Please list all numbers and letters either raised or printed on the plate. So the model is RX7 and the serial number 2629003. Step number one, damper head measurement to the nearest eighth inch increment. On the outside edge of the damper heads. And the measurement is 12 and 8 inches. Do that for each section. This section, this section, the tenor section, and then the last step, the lowest tenor damper to the highest string. And there we have 18 and an eighth inches. Step number two, number of base dampers. Simply count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 base dampers. Count the number of dampers in this tenor section, this tenor section, and in the treble shuck section, and list them on the sheet. Step number three, eight note damper head measurement. You need to measure the distance from left edge to left edge of a group of eight damper heads in the center of the section the center overall section of dampers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left edge to left edge is four inches. Do the same for this section and this section measuring in the center of, this, of that section. In the treble section is different. The pull pin is higher up in the treble section, so take the measurement at the top of the section. Step number four, treble damper guide rail screw location. I need to know where these screws are located. And you tell me that by measuring from the top of the section down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This screw is between the seventh and the eighth damper head. The next screw down would be eight, 9, 10, 11 would be between the 11th and 12th damper head. On most pianos, you will only have one screw in the treble section. This has two because this short little section is one damper guide rail. Step number five. Our damper guide rail holes set forward at base tenor strut. Normally, all of the damper guide wires are in a straight row the entire section but because of some of the dampers on either side being offset forward, sometimes the hole is forward as well. So I need to know if there aren't any holes set forward, or if there's one hole set forward, or if there are two holes set forward on either side of the base tenor plate strut. Step six, is there a plate strut behind the dampers? The plate strut here is in front of on each section. On some pianos you might have a plate strut back here behind in these two sections but not in the treble. Just yes or no, is there a plate strut behind the dampers in any of the sections? Step number seven, the string angle. Using the low profile angle finder, slide the arm with the arrows with the damper pedal depressed slide it underneath the dampers, line up the blue line down this arm right parallel with the string, with either string in the base section, either the right or the left, doesn't matter. Carefully slide the rule out and take a measurement and I have about 76 degrees. I'm going to do it one more time just to double check. and I have 76 degrees again. Do that in each section. In the treble section where there are tri-chords, line up the blue line 
on the center string in each of the sections. Step number eight, vertical clearance buzz test. Answer yes or no. For the bass section and tenor sections, we'll use the square tubed foot, placing it on top of the damper guide rail and playing the note with a good forte blow and listening to see if we hear any buzzing. I didn't hear anything, but I could feel the string tapping slightly against the top of the foot of the jig. So I would mark yes. And we'll do that again near the top of the bass section. There it is very clear that the string is buzzing against the foot. Again, we'd mark yes. Do that in the, use the same end for the tenor section. In this case, of course, two sections of tenor and most just one section. Do it at the top and the bottom. For the treble section, we use the end with the two eighth inch round tubes soldered together. All we're looking for to see is if there is that much space, if there is a quarter inch space. The strings in the treble do not oscillate very far up and down, so we're just checking to see if there's clearance. And I just barely can slide that jig in that spot, so there is just enough space. It will just fit in that end. In the treble end, there's plenty of space. You can see there's got lots of space in the treble, so we're just fine in the treble.